All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Scout Life. It's been a while, but we have a special project that I thought was worthy of making a video. So we're gonna take this 1980 Scout right behind me and turn it into this. So as many of you have seen in the Scout community, there's a, on October 24th, 1980, International Harvester produced um, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, the last Scout ever made. And we are going to turn this 1980 Tahitian Red Scout, which is not the last Scout, but it is the last year, into a clone of the actual last Scout. So we'll have some reference photos I'll show you. And we have to get it running, driving, duplicate a lot of the details that I'll, that I'll show you in these pictures. So give you a cool little walk around. And I apologize for the audio quality of my microphone. I'm missing a little dongle cable. But it's a 1980 original paint purchased out of like the Dolores Western, Southwestern Colorado. It's got the turbines. I love those. I mean, overall, it's, it's a really original Scout. The last Scout is a diesel. This is not a diesel, so we'll put a diesel badge on it. Um, let me show you the not so good parts. Well, the good, let's stay on the good parts. Good parts is it exists. It's a 1980 Tahitian red, black dash, four speed. The last Scout is a four speed. So th those are all great. Uh, features and the fact that it's the quarters are not huge holes but here's where it gets a little ugly this baby is rusty and again always to temper bad news with good news if you look um, you know like the mid body mounts are actually really solid inner rockers exist so we got to do a bunch of potina work we're going to clean up this paint a little bit um it's going to be a fun project it'll be a, i'm not sure how great of quality the video will be probably like normal scout light videos not so great but you know i kind of like them like that some of my favorite car youtube channels are the most low production possible but there she is <clears throat> here's the basic plan of what we're gonna do we're gonna get it running because it hasn't run in about eight years so we're gonna get it running see what we got to do to get it running driving the brakes work I already assessed that get it running um, take it for a quick drive then we're gonna pull the body and then have a mechanical crew start working on mechanical needs a paint and body well a rust repair crew working on critical rust repair and then a, our painter rob who's uh, who's really talented at matching paint and doing like cool blend blends and finishes he'll get on the panels and so then we have about a week to do it so today is thursday by next thursday i need to be heading to california back to bring it to la where it's going to get married back and it's going to be side by side with the last scout. So that's going to be some cool stuff. We'll bring you all the details. It'll be a fun project. Let's get going. Okay, so little uh, pro tip. If you have this problem, which many scout owners have, we sell these brand new, by the way. But if you have this kind of key, you can put the key on and just pinch it it's a big hack man i've been doing that for years all right let's see if we can get this thing running again she's been sim for about eight years 72k like very likely 172 wow look at this Big bundle of extra wires. Let me 
should just cut this out right now. So 1980, looks like a 304. We're just gonna throw a battery. We're gonna go quick and dirty, just throw a battery, dump some fuel in it. I think it'll start. Um, then we're gonna take it for a, an aggressive drive. So on the project, we got Lane. Tim's gonna be working on the project. Try not to disrupt customer jobs too much, but we gotta do what we gotta do. All right. And also part of the video you're gonna see, it's gonna be frustrating as I forgot my tripod. So it's pretty much gonna be selfie shots and handheld shots. That's it. Does the throttle linkage work? Yeah, it's not, it's, it looks pretty juiced up. Let me check the oil. Very low, but clean. Not required. Yeah, we'll throw a quart in there after we toke it off. All right, we're gonna do some stuff. Okay, so I think we've determined that it looks like this was a plow truck, but it also looks like it was flat towed. So those two things don't really mesh to me, right, Lane? You're not really gonna have a plow truck that you flat tow. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. But those trailer brake wires are definitely kind of sus. Yeah. So we're just gonna take that stuff off because it's annoying dealing with old wiring. The rest of it looks pretty kosher. I mean, it's like. Other than the remote starter solenoid and another, oh, that's an on off switch down there. Yeah, it's like here. See it right there down by the steering column, right? Oh, yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. So you got the remote starter solenoid, which I don't love. And then we got a battery maintainer. Yeah, the battery maintainer. This thing's all trick. Look what I found. saw this check this out I remember seeing this I don't know why there's two of those so we'll, we'll figure out which way's on which way's off in a minute all right we're gonna get rid of all this wire extra wires for now so these are plow controls so definitely looks like it was both a plow truck and then to take the plow off so we're gonna try to get rid of uh, as much of these extra wires as possible so I'm gonna get some wire cutters and just start clipping and cutting uh, take all these plow controls off oh no these aren't these are plow wires for the hydraulic rams Okay, makes sense. Let me get a number three Phillips. Anyway, I'll start taking this stuff off. All right, so we got a battery hooked up. Our battery switch is good. Lane is hooking up fuel pump, but I just want to show you guys. We have crank, crank ability. So now, in, in 1980, Lane, does it have a Presto light? Um, it's got Should electronic it? ignition. Yeah, it's got three wires, so it's got a Presto light. Presto lights are 78 to 80. They are one of the most reliable ignition units. I don't know, it, definitely in the scout space. Um, so now we're just gonna throw a little bit of fuel in it. Guess that it has I think we're gonna get lucky. I'm gonna go grab a quart of oil and a little, and a little, little cup for some gas or some brake clean. But we're gonna, I'd rather fill the float bowl right here. You just take this vent line, fill it up. Mm -hmm. um, easy peasy, man. All right, so we uh, slobbishly poured some gas into the carb. 
we since we're gonna replace the fuel tank anyway all right give her a couple pumps let's go international power Woo! she runs a little rough i knew it's missing a muffler that's no problem uh all right we're gonna fill the float bowl again see if we can get it did, did that fuel filter draw any fuel no okay there might be some old varnish stuff in there it didn't come really all, all right way. we might hook up the boat tank Let's see what we can do okay another thing uh you always want to look for clues you know like so we've discovered it's a plow truck not the greatest life for a scout to have but also if you look little clue it's the hubs were locked in the 4x4 position. They have nice new worn lock, uh, locking hubs. So someone cared enough to spend good money and buy premium locking hubs with new bolts. So it, it was obviously like kept up mechanically. Um, Lane's getting the fuel hose hooked up. I'm gonna put some water in it because we're gonna pull the body. So we're gonna have to disconnect the cooling system anyway. So water is sufficient. All right. All right, we're going to give her another shot. Is that water leaking? Uh, fuel coming out of that fuel line. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thing's pumping strong. It got, <laughs> yeah, she actually pumped that thing. Why was it leaking? Is there a crack in the fuel filter? Yeah, it's just a little drive. No, the, there's a hose. He's a hose right here. All right, we might have to replace those. Let's try it again. Coming alive. We're going to let it run for a couple minutes. Sweet. Check this out. Oil pressure. Gauges all work. Thing's sweet. Let's test out the wipers. Wipers work. We got headlights. Yeah, the lights work too. Yeah. Things cherry, man. Things cherry. Sounds like the timing's retarded. Oh, we'll see more fun to come all right so let's just see what happens again the temp gauge is coming up i'm stoked on all the gauges clutch feels okay we got clutchage Just, again like the, the reason we're doing this is just so we can give it a mechanical shakedown so that we know once we pull the body what kind of mechanical work we have to do um, so we can take it for a quick buzz and then we'll start the, the major surgery So, guys are cranking. We're gonna take a bunch of stuff off, start tearing it down. We don't really need to film all this. But uh, the 1980 Last Scout clone is underway. All right, so we've been making progress. All the major things are disconnected. <clears throat> we, have a, we have to do the lift like this because we have a compromised rocker over here just wouldn't hold the weight so i'm gonna keep going here's our list but i'm still going to the 304 t19 wide ratio runs real nice feels solid
Floors aren't too bad, actually. All right, here we go. Rob's working on, we can't overly clean up the panels, but we just gotta take some of this, that kind of like polka dotty iridescent, whatever. Then we're gonna do, I'll show you in the pictures, the replica pinstriping. Rob, does the tailgate have pinstriping? Yes. Yes. Some, always something. Yeah. All right. So again, we're trying to keep this thing as low budget and original as possible. So we found this 78 to 80 original exhaust, original IH muffler, thing will sound factory and quiet. Got the body here. Now we're going to fully assess the sheet metal um, extent. Kind of dreading that but we got to get the interior out next guys are working on body panels kind of spread around the shop and then something i'm looking forward to seeing the transformation is guys are gonna hot see this bad boy so let's get a good there's good old ben fireman ben get a good look at it spray it down with some different kinds of degreaser. All right, homie's gonna give it a shot. All right, it's, all right, it's kind of getting late. Had a busy day. Sorry I didn't show a lot of progress. All right, day two of the last scout clone project. Let me show you where we're at. The chassis cleaned up pretty nice. Look at that, man. No grease to be found. Um, looks pretty solid. Guys are going through axles, bearings, brakes. It's a 373 wide ratio, T19. Not sure if it's original. This is a 1980, obviously it should have a Dana 300. Like many uh, 1980s, the, the Dana 300s got pillaged. So, but we'll do like new belts. Tune-up's tune already done. Body's cranking. Getting ready to cut out the rockers and the, do the floors. I got this needle scaled last night. It took like three hours but it's ready for 415, so that'll be cool. Got a replacement gas tank. Tim's working on the bumper, Rob's working on pinstriping. Uh, so it's gonna be a big day. Let's get back to work. All right guys, so we're making some progress. Tim's making the wheels look just perfect in my opinion but uh the original turbines not off the sh off the factory floor right tim where we're saying right. these were done these were painted when the truck was painted i think just the inserts were painted black yeah so adding some distressing there's the turbines and check this out rob The truck was pinstriped before it went to its executive owner, the Garst family. So I'll show you reference photos, but pretty sweet. Now we'll, we'll photine of that a little bit and make it look like it matches the rest of the truck. 
All right, so I'm also working on this uh, rocker panel. This is one of the EJ Classic inner and outer combo units, which typically is not the best, but in this situation, it's gonna work great. So now I'm just gonna mark where the braces sit and clean off the, the E-coating. Start tacking her in. And then we gotta do the, the cab mount and wedge and floor pan. progress update got the rocker's been going pretty well it's actually sitting there pretty naturally um, got the dog leg in this is an actually an old NOS one from the crash side um, repaired this I'm just kind of patching in because again this is not a full restoration I gotta cut this one out and patch it. I'll probably actually just replace this whole thing. Gotta do the, the cab mount wedge. But we are like missing some structure in here, so I decided I'm gonna do a patch. So that we could just treat this and tie all this structure back into the rocker. We don't want this just blowing out here. So anyway. More fun sheet metal work on a Friday. Yeah, hey Mike, here's the chassis. Got it all degreased. Rebuilt the front end. New brakes, some bearings in the back, new exhaust, fluids. Here's the bigger news. Here's the body. New rocker. New floors are going in. Cat mounts, wedges, a lot of fun stuff. New gas tank. Woo, a lot of work. All right, it's day two of the build, still Friday. <clears throat> ben got the cab mount and wedge repaired. And again, this is not a full restoration. It is a cosmetic, you know, like semi-solid restoration. Got the cab mount in. Dog leg, as we saw before. This is an Anything Scout custom piece. Paired with a light line. wedge it's gonna go in uh, like filler quarter filler and then we'll cap after we will tie in <clears throat> I have to make custom little um, tie-ins from here to there and maybe like run this down try to figure out how to rebuild that we'll coat it and then we'll cap it with... sorry it's better cap it with lower quarter patch and eventually the truck needs quarters as you can see for the storyline it is you know maybe a little aggressive on the patina but we'll finish it up let me show you some of this stuff I'm trying to repair this door found a better 1980 grill got that repaired rob did a killer job on this pinstriping the pinstriping is you know obviously is shiny but we'll dull it up make it look aged you saw this fender so that looks killer man super stoked sent it to mike bolton and he's the owner of the last scout and i mean more than the owner the caretaker restorer got the wheels Tim did the wheels, I showed you those. The guys have made great progress on the chassis. We found this, uh, as I showed you earlier, this 7980 single exhaust. It was missing a transmission mount, we got that put in. Rebuilt the bell crank on the clutch. New brakes, new U-joints in the axle shafts. Regreased wheel bearings, new brake hoses steering at least low pressure this one was fine new plugs and all almost all this stuff has come out of our in-house access parts replace the carburetor because that one was tuned for 7,000 feet and we're not going to be it's just easier to take a good used one but anyway things are going well tomorrow tonight i'll probably get this stuff wrapped up finish this side tomorrow 
and uh, start on the other side. It's going well. Stoked to be working on the project. It's fun to be at the shop. Let's go. All right, it's the next day update. Sorry for not videoing enough, but again, I don't have a tripod. I figured, what's the point of watching time lapse over and over? Uh, got the front bumper on again. Motor, carburetor switched out. Tune up. New brakes, brake hoses, shocks, all the goodies. These are the same shocks that the last Scout has. More news: the sheet metal, pretty much all wrapped up. I mean, the main structural stuff on this side. Got this all prepped for the patch. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna put a coat of rust bullet on it. These are all prepped for rust bullet. Passenger side, we're just kind of getting started. We got the inner, inner and outer rocker configuration on there. Did a little bit of patching on inner fender, just some basic stuff party goes on we got a few more days left of, of hard work but it's a quiet uh, little session here on Saturdays gonna rut, do some rust building all right new day here with Aaron it's awesome working with a skilled craftsman he's making good progress so we had to do some cleanup here just for the cab mount this side needed an, an entire cab mount we like to leave this whole floor in place while we're doing it and then we'll take the, the floor skin off but rocker assembly is good over on the driver's side i'm just fitting we didn't have a floor pan in stock and i didn't anyway so i found one that's probably 20 years old made by a brand x company and it's too short so making a patch for that got this patch sit, set up. I got to delicately spot weld this across and avoid warpage. It's coming along. We well, should be wrapped up with the driver's side today. Monday by lunch we'll have the uh, passenger side finished. Got this rust bulleted. It's in actually in pretty good shape. Put another coat on that tonight. Fun continues. All right, so it's like a day and a half later. Probably should have done more frequent updates, but we all the metal work's done. We got some epoxy prime on there. So she's nice and solid now, which is awesome. So both sides got inner and outer rockers, cross support repair like inner panel splash panel lower quarter patch floor fans cab mount wedges whole nine yards just did a little it's not really didn't really focus much on the inner fenders motors all tuned up ready to rock sounds great with this factory exhaust on it so next up uh, tim and i are gonna we're gonna seam seal the underside and, and put some undercoating on it and then we'll seam seal the inside, put a second coat of rust bullet on the back. And then uh, get ready to hand it over to the paint department. Let's go check in on the paint department. We ended up replacing a door and we ended up, so this is original paint. Rob did the deep the pinstriping, pinstriping. This is a freshly painted fender. So we tried to match the patina on it. And I think it's pretty, pretty darn good. Like this top edge is original paint. This is repaint. So single stage, same with this door. Now we can have a solid truck that looks that looks right. This is the door that we replaced. Just that is completely separated from the bottom of the door, and it's just too 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 rough for the storyline. All right, 
back at it. It's time to put her on a cart so we can take it over to paint. Little tiny top. Carts are sweet. All right, update. Got the dash clean, got the steering wheel changed out. Fellas, by the way, this uh, this is black on the, uh, on the uh, actual Scout, so that's perfect. Uh, ben is just, Ben and Tim have been seam sealing, getting all this ready to rock, epoxy primed everything. Got the windshield out, prepped that surface. There was a little bit of surface rust and some old seal. Got her taped off, we're about to do some blending. It's exciting, man, we're getting close. Hopefully end of the day today, we'll actually put it on the chassis. And then tomorrow will be a thrash of getting the chassis, you know, the mechanics integrated with wiring, fuel, coolant, hoses, accelerator pedal, all that good stuff. And then installing the interior, at least starting that. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, she's, she's driving. I'll fill you and I'll keep you in the loop. some blending all right it's a fresh morning got the boys cranking doing some heat and sound insulation on the new crispy new floors we're gonna do a rear carpet no carpet on the side panels we'll just clean those up a little bit got the good use radiator new radiator hoses Cleaning, cleaning stuff up, touching stuff up as we see it. It's gonna be a fun day. Should be running in an hour. Pretty sweet, guys. Carpet's coming in. I like the contrast. We may distress this carpet a little bit, but pretty sweet. Status check. Interior side panels in. Electrical system hooked up. It's really coming along. Slider windows. It had fixed windows. We needed to go to slider. Um, so anyway, oh, we got the tailgate on. That was kind of a hassle. Pretty soon we're. Kind of the interior guys are working their way from the back to the front. Mechanically, we got to bleed the brakes, and then I think we're pretty much wrapped up. All right, we're having a little bit of a grill uh, issue. So the black grill that was on it is too. The last Scout has a silver grill, but we can't just have a newly, freshly painted black one. So or silver one for that matter. So I found this one and there's, there was some repops on grills back in the late 90s, early 2000s that were generally available on the market, but they were like five eighths to three quarters too wide, outer edge to outer edge. So we have a few of those old used ones, but this is a good original narrow one that is silver. So we'll age this in silver. Rob's got this done. Interior's coming together. Pretty exciting, and it's running now, and uh, should be driving in the next half hour or so.
need to put a rear view mirror on it too. There she is. Just jacked her up, doing some final inspection. We're pretty much done, man. It's quite a transformation in uh, about six work days. Well, including weekends. Probably, probably eight days total. But it's a really solid truck now. Yeah. All right, everybody, well, that's a wrap. I'm gonna do a final walk around of the Scout. And it couldn't have happened without this guy and the rest of the Anything Scout team. Best in the business by a long shot. Um, yeah, let's check it out. So, stoked to be a part of this project. Project It's, you know, building a clone of the last Scout is a pretty cool mission. You know, we only had reference photos. I've seen the, the last Scout, of, you know, a handful of times in person, but we didn't have it here. But uh, some of the details, Tahitian Red 1980. Um, four speed, that was tough. We got lucky. See the diesel. Some of the little specific details. This had a, si a weird aftermarket antenna and it had no hole here. So well, the original Scout had a hole there. So we added an antenna. Of course, you got the pinstriping. Of course, you got the blacked out turbine wheels. That looks cool. Got the correct. Um, blended this rust in the door. That's. This whole side is pretty much original paint. Did a ton of rust repair. Got the correct mirrors, good used. We had to switch the the, the door frames, the, the window glass and the wing window to stainless, not painted, which I wonder if that was, that would have been a luxury thing in 1980. All the rust repair, it's essentially, you know, short of like the visual visible rust on the outer quarters over the wheel wells. It's pretty rust free now. We found the Sierra Tan original seat, the back seat, rare finds in this condition. We had the AC unit for the 1980, again, four speed. Got the Jensen, period correct, base boost. Oh, we added that silver gauge plate. We found one of those. Um, Door panels, Sierra Tan, detail of the spare tire. Check it out, dome lights work, that's a miracle. Yeah, all the electrical is spot on on this truck. Got the correct original rear step bumper. Of course, if you know the last Scout, you know that it has a worn winch bumper. That I could not duplicate in this amount of time. I only had about eight days to build this whole truck. So, but I got the 235, 75, 15s. This whole side of the truck, this was the most difficult part because it had some previous accidents. So the paint was blended in that whole front quarter. And then the door was shot. So this is a re replacement door, which was another 1980 brown door in the quarter. So we had to blend that paint. You can kind of tell it's like the, the original is definitely more orange. This is original paint. It's a pretty good match. After the photo, the commercial shoot, I'm actually gonna clear coat the whole truck in a satin clear. So that'll happen next week. And who knows? what we're gonna do with it we're gonna take it around to some shows but anyway thanks for joining along sorry for the bad video as usual i'll get my tripod back and, and uh, my microphone set up sorry for the bad audio but that's a wrap appreciate you guys
appreciate being able to make videos and build cool things like this. Um, until next time, hope, hopefully your projects are coming along and you're out enjoying your scout with your friends and family. And see you next time. You know, yeah, video addendum, mechanical. Better clutch fan, seven blade fan, new shroud, new radiator, new heater core, new heater hoses, new radiator hoses. Aged them a little bit so they look correct, even though this, this is not gonna be shot. Fixed the battery tray, did some inner fender work, got the factory jack over there with the handle and the tire iron, placed the windshield wiper, added a fuel canister, rebuilt the carburetor, full tune up, pinion seals, pinion seal front only. Yes. Um, new U joints, ball joints, repacked bearing, replaced the hubs, well, replaced the wheel bearing hub. Um, yeah, repaired a spring hanger. A lot of work. New trans, new motor mounts, transmission mount. A lot of work. Went into the oh, new brake hoses, uh, new brakes, new calipers. Ben found a good used booster. New glass. We had to find a period correct aged window windshield. Original um, wipers. Original wipers. Those are cherry, pristine, hard to find. Of course, you got the 1980 hood that doesn't open as wide as the other hoods. That's kind of an interesting 1980 feature. We found a new correct grill. Um, anyway, new lower grill. A lot of work, man. A lot of work. Proud of the team, busted it out. About six and a half days, seven days. Seven days without food makes one week. Oh, roof rack we added. Lots of stuff, fun stuff, addendum over.